Yes, we're staying at the Esplanade Hotel in Frio for a, a night. Uh, and yes, the Esplanade was built in originally in 1875 and renovated in 1985 when the America's Cup was held here at Fremantle. So we're going to take a wander around the fabulous town of Fremantle. We're on our way now to the Maritime Museum, which is just right in the heart of Frio. There's so much to see in Fremantle. Walking around Fremantle is like stepping back in time. This is the National Hotel built in 1895. Fremantle Town Hall built in 1887. Just stop for a coffee at the Fremantle Art Centre. Built in the 1860s and formerly a lunatic asylum, it's a fabulous building and I really like the nice big trees and the shady yard they have here. There's a coffee shop, an arty shop and of course all the art in the building. to do the West Coast Jet Boat Ride, just having a coffee to fill a few minutes. jet combo lunch deal and our fish and chips are ready. Here I am free, so we better take a ride on the Ferris wheel.
Fremantle was first settled in 1829 and the town was named after the captain of one of the first ships to arrive in Fremantle, Captain Fremantle. I'm standing outside the Eshed Markets, right on the water's edge at Fremantle Port. is the roundhouse built in 1831 the first building built in Fremont Pretty good to save yourself <laughs> oh, I think you did. Look at me. Around 1900 at this site they established a time ball. The time ball is dropped from a mast at 1pm each day and a cannon is fired. That enables the ship's masters to set their chron chronometers, their clocks because longitude and time are directly related. Well, there you have it, a taste of Fremantle, the fabulous historical port town of Fremantle. So much to see, so much to do, so many cafes, restaurants, and that was just a taste of Fremantle.